Hey guys, we're back with another episode of Magic the Gathering Duels of the Poop Scoopers. Poop in the Scoop in the Poop 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 Scoop in Nothing there. That's also how bare naked ladies songs used to be written for a while. <laughs> really? I never I never listened to the bare naked ladies. Have you ever listened to the lyrics of One Week by the Bare Naked Ladies? I have not, no. Yeah, Chickity yeah, the yeah, China, yeah. the Chinese chicken, you have a drumstick and your oh. brain stops ticking. <laughs> yes, I have. Watching X Files with no lights on, we're down the maze on like it that doesn't mean anything. You know what's funny? <laughs> the X file about X Files. <laughs> okay, great. I'm you glad mentioned... we could tangent into that. Go ahead. <laughs> you meant it. You, well, you mentioned it's a part I'm of ready. the part Let's of the part of the now. okay the so X Files everyone should do this including you two after this episode so or much. during I don't care as long as you put it on another window and continue watching this video uh, the if you go go listen to the X Files opening theme again now everybody knows the like yeah that's the part I know right, right. there. Yeah, everybody knows that, right? Like that's that's the, the okay. The actual song is like five minutes long, and if you keep listening to it, it's like this crazy like electronica <laughs> like techno music. I'm not kidding. I'm not fucking well, with they you. They cut like, that out, can, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, they they don't use it for anything, but they but that part that that's still technically the theme song if you listen to the full version. It's just it's got like an electrical ele electronica like techno thing going on. Is real weird. Is there a reason that that doesn't belong with the X Files? So that seems like it wouldn't be that strange. I I don't know. I mean, it's it does seem it does seem a bit out of place for uh for you know. The, Is the story uh, that you're trying to put forward that there's more to the X Files theme than you knew, or that that's something that's discordant with the theme of the X Files? Um, or well, something else really, entirely. more the former than the latter, but really both. Okay, the latter. Yeah, Jacob's latter. Okay. I just want to add a back movie. tangent here. Uh, you're mentioning songs with uh, strange scat style lyrics. Uh, the scat man. Yeah, poop. Scat poop. man, yeah, that. But uh, there's a song. It might have been you guys, or it might have been someone else in Skype. But uh, there's a song by uh, by uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, and it's called like Around the World, I think. Yeah, I've heard that. And around the world, around the world. Okay, it might not be around the world. <laughs> they all kind of sound like the same thing when yeah, you say but, it like that. Uh, if, if that's, hopefully that's the right song or the right... Uh, all Red Hot Chili Peppers songs sound the they same. They don't sound the same at all, actually. They, they, they have the same style. They're, they're, at least this one sounds There's very two similar phases. specifically. There was the heavy bass slap period and then the like, <laughs> like really pop one. version. Slap yeah. at the bass. After like Californication, the... it became really poppy, I think. But in this song, uh, he sings like a chorus or two, and it's totally normal. And then in the third chorus, he just gives up and starts going ching tang hum hum hum, and like I, I, I shit you not, those those are the lyrics. He just starts <laughs> making noises for like the entirety of I don't have any lands for the uh, you know, entirety. I, Listen to corn. Like Jonathan Davis does that shit too. You know, I think it's if you get to a point in your musical career where you're like popular enough, I'm sure people are just like. Fuck it. I'm just gonna. I don't have any lyrics here. Just fuck it. I mean, people still buy it, and I'm sure they did. I'm sure that was a very well-selling song, wasn't it? So uh, well, I, yeah. you made it sound like it happened early in their career, right? I don't know what. I I think it was relatively early, but uh, they were yeah, actually pretty I, popular I just, even back in the '90s. So. Yeah, I heard it in yeah, the radio, were. Uh, and it confused the hell out of me because I wasn't really listening to the song. I was just it was just kind of on the background, and I, and I was. I, that chorus came up, and I was like, "Did I just hear that?" And then he does it again, yeah. and I was like, "Yeah, he's just fucking saying things. Like that's really weird." That's really fun when you find a song that like you had no idea it was even on, and then all of a sudden you're like, "What the hell am I listening to? <laughs> am I hallucinating this shit? What, like, am I sleeping right now?" Yeah. There was a uh, one time uh, in the classic rock station in Houston. If uh, you live there, it's in, it actually used to be 93.7, but they stopped and now it's 107.5. But anyway, it's called The Arrow, and normally it's just classic rock. And uh, I was listening relatively late at night because I was driving uh, late at night, and I kind of just had it on. I didn't really notice, but they were playing like this weird 60s Indian music. Like, were there sitars involved? Yeah, it was like all oh, this strange ambient wow, sitar wow, music. Wow, wow. 
And I was like, what is <laughs> happening right now? I thought I was going <laughs> insane. <laughs> That's my sitar <laughs> impression. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you'd be surprised, man. You listen to the radio, and sometimes weird stuff happens. I try not to listen to the radio if I can avoid it. I, I like listening to the radio because I like not being able to choose what song I can listen to at certain points. I'm sure a yeah, lot of people would like to take that control away from you as well, so maybe you'll be happy in the future. <laughs> I don't see, I don't know how to drive, so I don't really, there's literally no reason for me to listen to the radio anymore. You could, like, get an iPhone or something, and it has, like, built-in internet radio, and then you could go on the subway. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've done, like, Pandora stuff, yeah, but, like, not, yeah, like, actual bomb radio movie. radio. Yeah, bomb Pandora, movie. no, Pandora Tomorrow is, like, a, oh, no, that's Splinter Cell. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Splinter Bond. Pandora yeah. never oh, dies. <laughs> <laughs> you, ever, you ever been to Splinter Bond? You, you, you don't live in Texas, so probably not. Isn't that a type no, of beer? No, it's the largest water park uh, in the country. A large it's, soda park? It's, uh, it's water park. You're going to get real say. sticky uh, like that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that like be that amazing? amazing? <laughs> if you just yeah, like a situation. Of a water park that was only soda. I would do that, but I would want it to be fruit punch. This, that would be a little better. We're going to have the, the gathering of the Juggalos next year, and it'll convert it all Fago. They'll be so happy. Okay. That's going a little too Fully far. Fully Fago Water Park. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but no, New Braunfels, uh, Texas, has Slitterbond. Uh, Gallison has a Slitterbond as well that opened like five or six years ago. I like you're speaking another language for a second with that. <laughs> Slitterbond, it's German. It's, it's, no, uh, I it's... know the German word, but like all the other words you said sounded like... Chinese or something for a split oh, second. Oh, I said Galveston and New Braunfels because they're cities. Yeah, but you said them fast. Oh, okay. I can't I guess handle it's... when you say words fast, Austin. I need I'm to sorry. like. Oh, you really flung your own anything. creature at you again. I don't give a fuck, man. I'm just gonna lose. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're I'm not sorry. sorry. I am. Don't act like I... you're fucking sorry. I am sorry. I didn't mean it. Since we made it so clear talking? that this is just a podcast, I can't possibly commit myself to <laughs> caring if I live or die in this game. <laughs> yeah. This one might be a fast one because Rob got the goblin dude. Oh, he'll have the lava giant as well very soon. Right, right. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to work. I remember when I had creatures. That was a <laughs> turn ago. One, time. Was one time at creature camp. <laughs> all around the world. Stuck a flute in my pussy. There's a lot of songs with around the world in them. Mm -hmm. All around There's the world, around statues the world crumble for me. Knows how much oh, I love you. Oh, you got the Nimbus wings, don't the you? Nimba dip poop a dip a dip. That card sucks dicks. Look, man. Yeah, it does. Was Sugar Ray <laughs> named after Sugar Ray Leonard? Yes. <laughs> you sure about that? Yep. What were they trying to take from that? Like his tenacity and endurance? I'd say so. Because they didn't last very long for a band that really had that as their mainstay. You know, I uh, I don't I never even heard of that band. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> never, never even, never even heard of. Them. I'm really glad that actually that's the way that story ended. <laughs> that's good. Oh. oh no, my quest oh. for the goblin. Oh, oh what a dick move! It was so close. That you that that is a play that has happened multiple times. I know. Quest for he uses like... the same deck every time. So do I. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's because we can't be bothered to like leave the menu to switch decks every time. <laughs> right. Yep. Like, by the time we so... think of it, we're already in a match, and by the time we're in a match, we can't change decks anymore. So why would we change them? Who made that design decision? Like seriously. The iPad like, committee. Who... <laughs> yeah. Like who? Who was like? Who was like? Hey, you know what? I think the biggest balance issue of uh, of of magic has been so far that you can switch decks during uh like right before a session we need to remove that from the game maybe they just <sighs> built the engine over from scratch or something that'd be really shocking if they did that but maybe they did uh, actually because they needed to support ios more effectively so by the way this microsoft microsoft tablet is what you're looking for uh not <laughs> yeah yeah the surface pro i gotta t seriously though like that it does actually look kind of cool I refuse to acknowledge that it even exists. I like to, I mean, I, I like my Kindle a lot, so I don't know if that, you know. Their commercials are based on a bunch of random college kids doing acrobatics and snapping keyboards onto a tablet over and over and over <laughs> again, like anyone gives a fuck about having a keyboard attached or not. Yeah. All around the world. 
That is Sugar Ray, right? I don't know. <laughs> Sugar Ray Lionheart. Uh, Sugar Ray Vaughn? Sugar Ray the Lionheart. Sugar Ray Vaughn. <laughs> Get out of here. Sugar Ray Vaughn Sinclair. Oh my god. You know what I'm gonna do? Fuck everybody. Oh, you're a waterhead! Oh, the pain train. Nick, hit Austin. Don't. Okay, thank uh, you, Nick. You I appreciate bitch. that. No, I don't want to block you. You focused oh, me down like a fucker, it. so like, you have I to have block to. it, and you only have one. Oh, God, Nick, son of a bitch, don't oh. do that. Oh, you bastard! Oh, right, the pain well. train. I guess it's second place for me then. <laughs> hey, Very dude, well. You, you, you got a chance, man. No, I don't. I, I have actually four lands, dude. I'm way behind on lands. Yeah, but my option was actually this is this is actually pretty awesome. But um, yeah, I bet it is. Oh shit. Yeah. But okay, uh, so now you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, wish Austin wasn't uh, tapped out. All around the world. Oh. One, two, three, four. It's almost a foregone conclusion that you're even gonna kill me. So who even cares? Right? Just, like, don't. See what happens. Just don't kill me, because it takes more work I, to kill me than not to, right? You water catted me. Yeah. I can't. Well. I can't. I can't abide. <laughs> water did you have a second water cat? You did kill all of my creatures and. Uh, I had another pumper, yeah, but not the water cat. <laughs> yeah, I had another pumper lying around. I was going to use it after the episode, but... Uh, Dude, you know, who thinks really... that's a good idea, pumping your dick up? I don't know. Like, I See, but I don't think that's actually what it's for, because I think that's what... I think that's what is commonly told, but I'm pretty sure that's just like a masturbatory device. How? Uh, I mean, I don't even understand it. It's The whole thing just sucks your dick into a vacuum. Oh, what did you just do to me? I did a thing. Did you do that? A lovely thing. Okay. And I'm just thinking I... about how like blood flow and circulation works, and then you throw a vacuum into the whole mix, and it just sounds like the worst idea. Oh, I don't want to throw a vacuum into the mix. Hey. <laughs> mm, and then people yeah, say like you need to stretch it or like put a weight on the end of it or pump it up all the time. It's like just you're not gonna get a bigger dick. Just calm down. <laughs> Uh, you know, people regrow their foreskin uh, with methods like that. I didn't know that, no. They, uh, uh, yeah, they add little weights to the... Wait, hey. They add little weights to it, huh? Yeah, and it like drags the skin down and it slowly grows back. That's not a thing I'm interested in doing. But I guess cool for people that are. I don't know. No, yeah, you should double block that one one, Austin. Yeah, no, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I really was hoping that you would do that. Yeah, I, I fucking lost. Yeah. I was actually, I, I think if I draw a land, you might just die to the damage that I didn't draw a land. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Well, if, you know, if I had drawn a Dude, land, then I, then I wouldn't have had to do that. Yeah, it's fine. The If I drew a land, I would I would have monstrified that fucker, and then I would have been able to defend myself, which would have been nice. You still actually, died. if Nick didn't... Uh... You still would have died. Oh, well, really? I would have blocked yeah, that Yeah, because I have the card that does lifelink, so you would have blocked it, but it would have done direct damage to you. Oh, right. Double direct damage. God, that card is such fucking <laughs> bullshit. That's like, that card is, like, seriously the biggest bullshit in the game. Ah, uh, GG. That was a quick one, but I didn't expect it to. I, I guess Nick doing the, the thing there really... Yeah, the water, yeah. Cat, the water cat, like, really fucked me. It's a game changer. Yeah, I don't care if I win or lose. I just want to make some kind of tangible difference to the outcome of the game. That's kind right. of what I'm after. It's sort of like life, right? Like, you don't want to be forgotten. Well, that's too Yeah, yeah that's fair. <laughs> Magic is like life. It's basically like life. Because <laughs> here's what actually, would, if you didn't, if I didn't get water catted and lost that thing, I would have killed you the next turn and then uh, hit Austin with my goblin dude, who actually had like, um, like he gains, he gains plus two, plus zero every time, like for each other goblin attacking with him. So I would have done like mad damage to Austin. I might have still lost, but it would have been interesting. But Watercat was there, and he Watercat's was... very real. Watercat is super real. He's, he's like the wet, most real he's of angry. all the cats. He wet. really is. Cat. I mean, cats don't really like being underwater, so that's really you know. Yeah, that's one that's breed actually. Like... There's one breed that likes to swim. Uh, really? The short hair. Or, it's no. not a breed. It's the other <laughs> one. Uh, it's something about the hair or whatever. I don't remember what kind it is, but there's videos of it on YouTube, and if you find them, you're going to be very happy because it's adorable they watching just, a cat swim. They just sit in the water. <laughs> they, they, like, turn the faucet on and just stick their head in it and just sit there. Yeah, they really like <laughs> being in the bathtub or just swimming in the swimming pool, whatever they you can guys, get. 
<laughs> you guys ever seen that gif of the uh, I think I showed it to you before of the uh, of the the bunny rabbit in the sink just have this like fucking yeah. lounging all the... out. <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's big like... old carrot on his lap yeah there's a <laughs> hold on rabbit sink oh, here we go gif I'm gonna find it it's it's wonderful you find uh, it oh there it is Oh, there it is. You know, while we were on the topic of the whole dick pump thing, I was wondering, do you think that the general public believes that there's a pill you can take that makes your dick grow? They I'm, do, right? You know, they really believe it, I, that. I think more than more than that, it's uh, it's just wishful thinking. They want to believe that it's real. Right. They may not actually believe that it's real, but they want to. They want to at least, like, just try it just in case, because maybe it'll work for me and not Actually, not I was... In in R slash WTF today there was a uh, there was a gallery of weird penises, and uh, they why, were really weird. Why would you Why would you look at though? Like, what's the issue here? I don't. Uh, I don't see why well, they're weird. I guess. I, yeah, exactly. I was curious I as to why they were they were weird. They were really weird. I don't want to look at a bunch of dudes' dicks, man. They're called creepy peepees. I'm not interested. in those. <laughs> Creepy peepees. <laughs> Yeah, I just also uh, I, the I, main villain in like Sesame Street. I don't know. I pulled up the, <laughs> the uh, creepy pee pee. The, that sounds the like a subreddit too. <laughs> it's wonderful. R he is so creepy pee pee. Look how loungy he is. He's just like, yeah, this water's fucking awesome. Like this is sweet, bro. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> just look at him. Just... Oh my god, he is like lounging. Like he's super lounging. I thought there was just gonna be a rabbit, and he was just sitting in the water. Now this guy's fucking lounging. Nope. Yeah, he's fucking enjoying himself. He loves that shit. Are fuzzy I mean, bunnies it, top tier for you, Rob? Because I think they might be. I uh, yeah no, they're they're definitely up there as like some of the most adorable animals. I mean, like this one's not the, not really the most adorable. He's kind of just hilarious and looks like a human, and that's why he's funny. But the. The ones that just have like the tiny heads and huge eyes that look like if you like poked them, their eyes would like fly out of their heads. Those are maybe the most adorable things. What about baby goats? Done. Oh, those are amazing. Those are so good because there's like seriously, <laughs> b like baby goats. I, I think I no animal on earth. Well, because no animal on earth is as excited or energetic as a baby goat. Like seriously, every video I have ever seen of a baby goat, they're like yelling and jumping around yeah, and having a good out. time. Yeah, which is weird because like the adult goats, like they've like seen some shit. Like life has beaten <laughs> them down because they're just like fucking bored all the time. They're just chewing on grass. They don't give a shit anymore. But the baby goats, they're like jumping. Around. They're having a great time. I don't baby know what deer happened. is kind of the same way. I mean, they run around. I've seen a baby deer like jump into its mother before, which is kind of hilarious. <laughs> oh, so really? A little I'm slow on the phone, or I would have had that recorded. I actually was real sad. I missed that. Did you say he's slow on the boner? Because that's <laughs> uh, really. <laughs> I said slow on the phone because my Saw phone has a camera. Deer, and it. I was slow on the boner. Couldn't get it. <laughs> I was uh, I was real slow on the boner when I saw it. I couldn't jack off to it quick enough. I you know I really regret I that. I wouldn't be surprised. That's an actual term that someone's used in context. <laughs> slow on the boner. <laughs> sorry, sorry, girl. I'm a bit slow on the boner today. <laughs> just give me a second. I was I was in the mood, but then he was just really slow on the boner, and it just passed. You know. <laughs> Can we get that? Can someone make an urban dictionary uh, of slow on the boner, please? Can it be that... slow on the bone? Because that just sounds better. Slow on the bone. Slow on the bones does sound pretty good, yeah. Or well, see, if you say slow on the bone, then it sounds like you're like a like a like a lyric from like a '90s R&B singer. Yo, I'm slow, you on move, the bone. slow on the bone. That reminds me, actually, there was a group called Bone Thugs and Harmony, and I never yeah. thought of that as something that didn't have to do with an erection. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I just, <laughs> I just imagine like a couple of cross dicks and they're singing about it. <laughs> bone thugs. Maybe, maybe it's an action. Maybe that's what it is. They, they bone thugs. That's what they do. Oh, okay. And have a harmony while they do it. Like they just have like crazy orgies with thugs and like you know so they grunt in a harmonious things. manner. Right, right, right. Yeah. I, maybe that's. I was just thinking that one guy just goes. Mm -hmm. And then they just go up and up and up with that. That was <laughs> while, yeah. they're, while they're banging dudes. While they're banging. <laughs> also, like a barber yep. shop. Uh, yeah, barber, barber shop. shop fuck tet or something. <laughs> barber shop orgy. Barber shop sixty nine at. That's actually they uh, they made the porn parody of the barber shop series and uh, and that's it. a really barber hard time shop saying the word barber. <laughs> yeah, barber shop is is not is not as easy as as one would expect. It's you know yeah. what it is. It's the you're saying you're saying R and then er like right next to each other. Barber. 
Barber. Barber. Barber. Sounds like uh, you're like a, a talking nut from uh, from Dark Souls. Barber. Barber. Yeah. And then oh. there's Babar. You got Barber and Babar. Uh, oh yeah, dude. I fucking loved Babar when I was a little kid. I wasn't even thinking about the concept. I was just thinking about how the words sort of sound similar to Barber. Speaking, yeah. speaking of tongue twisters, have you tried the one smart fellow he felt smart tongue twister? One smart fellow he felt smart? Yeah, he has to say it three times fast. One smart fellow he felt smart. One smart fellow he felt smart. One. F yep, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he gets right to the fart. You want to give it a go, Rob? I gave it a little fart. One smart fellow he... What is it? A one smart fellow he, he felt smart? <laughs> he smelt fart. Smart. One smart fellow, he felt smart. One smart fellow, he yeah. <laughs> smelt fart. He smelt fart. I used to when I when I went to acting school, the uh, that's like that's like one of the main things is they uh, is you do like those those word games, and uh, I was really good at them for a while because you know you you train in them. But uh, and there was this one that I can't I can't for the life of me remember it but it was so hard because it it didn't do the traditional um phonemes that you were that that you're used to like fucking up it's like uh it's it's like oh. ists and like frost and stuff like that and it's like super hard to say there's a poem that like just has a bunch of words that are spelt the same but sound differently like throughout the poem and it's oh yeah to read. yeah I've seen, yeah yeah, people made me read that. that. That actually was not very difficult to read for me. It, if you take it nice and easy, then yeah, it's it's all right to read. But yeah, if you if you aren't paying attention, you're gonna fuck it up. I actually really like the meta game of Twitch lately that they've been sending tongue twisters with donations. That's like you get money and also you get to say a silly thing and challenge <laughs> yourself to see if your tongue can pull it off. And if you lose, hey, nobody's really gonna laugh at you because it's hard. That's true. That's what she said. Also, nice. Yeah, did you ever do the the, the fort the fort fort trick? The the fort trick. What's that one now? I mean, that's it, you know, we're gonna go for it. All right, say the word fort four times. Fort 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 fort. And spell it twice. F O R T F O R T. Say it three times. Fort fort fort. And say it twice. Fort fort. What do you eat soup with? A spoon. Yeah. So it didn't work. Yeah. I was oh, gonna, you wanted well, him to say fort. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's just fork. I was actually gonna say spork. So, <laughs> like it took me a second. I was gonna say spork. So no, that you would have blown my mind if you said spork. I thought you were gonna turn him into the Swedish chef because he kept saying pork, 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 pork. <laughs> the well, character it, from uh, uh, it was a trick in middle school yeah. that everyone did, and it was it was like funny for a week because everyone would say fork and they'd be really cocky, be like, "Oh, you were gonna try to trick me." I said fork though, and then oh shit, you don't eat spoon with a soup with a fork. You're, I'm you don't stupid. eat spoon with a soup with a fork. <laughs> <laughs> you really don't eat spoon, like in general. You can just end the sentence with a there. soup, with, with a, a soup. fork. <laughs> Look, on the, we're on the topic of tongue twisters, and you know, I, I, it's hard, man. Words start blurring together. Start getting said. Dracula's monsters all around here. Yeah. It's hard. You really do get some Dracula's monsters sometimes. Sometimes that happens. <laughs> I'm still watching that gif of the. Of the okay, rat. good. It's fucking. He's fucking having a great time. He's having a good time. And th there's one part where. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dang. That one really, you put some weight into that one. <laughs> you had like a really deep breath in there and you just lost it all in like one, one laugh. He does that little rabbit thing where they like fuck with their mouths and he's just like, right. like the water's in them and he's like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is awesome. <laughs> Oh, you think they goodness. think of very much when shit's going on in front of them? You think they're just like actually thinking of anything, or they're just kind of you know, in the moment? I've always wondered that actually about animals, like 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 dogs, because like you know, uh, they have very short if memories. Had, if you ever had a dog, well, yeah, that, but like if, if you ever had a dog, uh, you know, I haven't actually ever had a dog, so this. I've had really a dog. I've had a couple thing. dogs. Yeah, but so the, you know when they sleep, sometimes when they sleep on their sides and then they're and then they're sleeping and then you can tell that they're dreaming because their legs start kicking. Yeah. So course. like you know that they're they're running in their dream. <laughs> what the fuck must the dog's dream look like? I I want to see what a dog's dream looks like. Was he so just, exciting? Yeah, he's, like, <laughs> he's probably so happy. He's like running on some like crazy <laughs> track mania dog, <laughs> like flying <laughs> tennis balls and stuff. Like it must be the greatest thing. You remind me of the video of the dog he was dreaming, and he just like he's running like sprinting full speed on his side, and then he wakes up and like just keeps going and bashes into a wall. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's so hilarious. funny.
<laughs> oh, he, he wakes up and like starts snapping around and then jumps like he's still like in the dream and just hits the wall. Dream's probably way more mundane than you think, though. I doubt a dog's gonna come up with a track mania course. He's probably just running through the field that he's used to running through and then sniffing some dog's butt for a while. It's like, yeah, all that's I want. that's why dogs are great. They don't they don't need anything extra. They can just have the same old field and they're good. That's true. They're good. They're like super excited over. They're super excited over just like seeing you. Like if you come home after not seeing them for like three hours, they'll be like, holy shit, I thought you were gone forever. This is amazing. You are so, yeah. you're the greatest. How are you, what, it's, how are you so It's also cool? kind of torturous too, though, because you kind of wonder, well, if they're that excited, do they really think you're dead every time you leave your house? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe, probably. Because that's really depressing. You think it's like almost cruelty to the poor animal. They think you're gone and you're going to leave them to starve to death inside of your house. Yeah. But yeah, then they forget think, that in three seconds, and they're like, "Wait, yeah. I don't know where I am. I don't know, whatever." <laughs> they they do. I think they do. They do have a grasp of time because there's that one. There's that one video. Like like there, there's the, those millions of videos of the of the marine returning home and a dog. Sure, sure, sure. Oh yeah, there's so many. But there's there. there's one there's one of those where uh, where the marine returns home, and the dog jumps up to him, and like I guess he must have had a long tour or something, but the dog a like clearly has a grasp door. of time because. Because the dog like goes up to him and like knocks him down on the ground and then like just just basically hugs him and starts like shivering and crying <laughs> and it's like oh my god that's so he's like so passionate that this guy is back now like he's so excited yeah my dog like, if I went on vacation and got back my old dog would get absurdly excited yeah yeah I see I never had my own dog but I've only had friends dogs who I treat with the most love a person can treat anything. And uh, actually, this one time, the dog, sometimes, <laughs> dogs are the best because, like, so one time I get into the car with the with the dog, Bentley, who, like, you know, loved me. We had a great time. Wait, the car or the time. dog? The dog, <laughs> the dog's name was Bentley. Uh, okay. we, didn't, we didn't get into a Bentley. It was, like, a <laughs> shitty, like, Civic or something. But uh, anyway, so we, we, get, we get in the dog, Bentley, and the dog's so excited. He's, like, licking my face, and he's, like, you know, getting all excited, and then he's, like, sitting back down in between me and my friend, and I look down. And he's got this massive boner, like huge. He's got he's got a massive boner, and it's just like oh, that's a little bit weird. And he's like looking at me at the corner of or the corner of his eye, like <laughs> like I'm kind of ashamed. Like I I'm sorry. And and he's got some like, lipstick for you. Yeah, it's like it's, it's cool, buddy. Like I get it. You got excited. It's fine. I know you don't want to bang me, or maybe he did, but like he doesn't know how I, to do it. Yeah, really. Right. Yeah, probably. But it's just funny. The dog got so excited, he just got a massive boner. Yeah, he popped an excitement chub. People do that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just funny. It's funny. Dogs are the greatest. I love dogs. You just told a story about how much you love dogs because one got a boner. <laughs> Is there something you want to tell us, Rob? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I really do love banging dogs. <laughs> That dog, that dog is great. I, I think I've told you guys a story about how we took him to the upstate house and yeah. Okay. And? <laughs> yeah, and fucked him relentlessly. Is that where train, the... <laughs> We ran train on the dog. Us and like everyone else in the whole. Oh we ran train. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no. Did you lay so some this, pipe too? This, <laughs> this dog, Bentley, he was a, he was a pit bull. Um, and, they named uh, him Bentley because everyone wanted to get inside of him. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but no, so like it was, it was a pit bull. He was great. He was a really energetic dog, and uh, he, adorable. Like he he was a pit bull, so he was a scary looking dog, but he was just like the biggest sweetheart. And uh, but he was terrified of water. For whatever reason, he was always terrified of water. Uh, like he <laughs> there was a puddle on the ground. He would like he would like shrink away from it and walk around. So we used to like force him to walk through puddles so he could get over his fear. And then we started taking him down to the river so he could start swimming, and he enjoyed swimming. And anyway, once he was over his fear of water, we would take him up to the upstate house. Um, and we, there was a river there. It was very freezing cold because it was the winter, but he just fucking loved it anyway. So we, freezing we toss, too. yeah, right. Well, yeah, probably you're right. Yeah. I mean, you do live up there actually yeah. right near, we've talked we, about, we've right talked here. about where his upstate house is. It's like maybe 20 minutes away from my house. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe, maybe 40 actually, but I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not, it's not super, cold but it's a, so the, we, we would throw sticks into the river and he would get super excited and be like, fuck yeah, I'm going to go get that stick, bro. And he would just like run into the. Uh, into the river and dive in and he'd come back like five minutes later he never would get the stick he would never ever get <laughs> the forgot. stick I'm pretty sure he didn't even want the stick he just wanted a reason to get into the river and do what right. he did which he would 
put his massive jaw down into the water and and you'd see his fucking crazy ass neck muscles just like pulsing and he would pull out the biggest possible rock that he could find <laughs> and walk out of the river and I'm not kidding like these rocks were like half his size like it was crazy it's like how do you have the neck muscles for that but it would be massive rocks be like all right you want to you want me to throw another stick so you get a rock out of the water Bentley <laughs> that was good that was a good dog yeah, I mean you can't do that stuff with a cat yeah no not at all you'll not throw a, a stick in the water and they'll be like what the fuck did you do that for man they won't even be near you when you threw the stick. Or they'll have already left and found a place to lie down. <laughs> yeah. But I kind of yeah. like them because of that, too. <laughs> yeah. If I got an animal, I'd, I'd need to get a dog, though. I just need that love, you know? Yeah, some people love, are dog yeah. people. Some people are Those cat people. Boners. Some people are both people. Did you just say dog boners? <laughs> he said he needs that love. Oh. Yeah, I need that dog love. I thought you were trying yeah. to say he needed to be a dog owner, but you said a dog boner. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you want it to be that way, yeah, that's, that's fine. That's pretty close, yeah. It's close enough. I'm still watching this rabbit. Going right. like... Switch over to the like... rabbit that eats the berry. You like that one too, right? <laughs> I do really love or that. Or the sheep that falls down a mountain. You've got a very small select group of very effective gifts <laughs> yeah. for keeping you entertained. I really do. They're 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 wonderful. I don't you know you know what the internet has brought us more than anything more than like the vast library library of Alexandria of knowledge at our fingertips. Of pornography. And, you mean? And yeah, and pornography like the mountains and mountains of pornography. The internet has brought people together through hilarious and adorable animal gifts, and uh, you know that's wonderful. And videos, not just gifts. Some of them are longer than three seconds. Yeah, now that I believe gifts need to be three seconds, they can be fucking long as hell. I think people made movies out of gifts. Yeah, Maul was telling made me gifts actually. Into movies. Wait, yeah, Maul I said it backwards me. again. <laughs> Fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> that actually smart would be amazing if they smart. made gifts into movies. Like if they made this rabbit lounging in this uh, <laughs> sink into a movie somehow, <laughs> that'd be the great. I would go watch it, even if it was just this gift right. played for like two hours. Okay, here's the challenge to commenters. Post a GIF of your favorite GIF you'd like to be made into a movie in the comments, mm. and then tell us why that would be a great movie. And we'll write the story out. And yeah, you can reply to the people's GIFs and write the story out together. I think that'll be a good fun time. <laughs> that would be amazing, actually. If you, guys, if you can get two people it, to agree on the same gift. We're just going to get dick gifts. Like, that's what's going to happen. There, no, <laughs> no, no porno uh, pornography. It gets killed. You can't do it here. Yeah. We'll Mur kill the actor. <laughs> if you give us these gifts of these porn we will murder them. Well, you'll get banned is what I mean, so don't do that. Yeah, but you will. Other than that, <laughs> go to town. And no violent stuff either. Yeah, yeah, none of that. None of that nonsense. But if you have an adorable animal gift, please bring it on. By all means, I will look at it. I'm actually, you know, people were really upset uh, initially with the, with the YouTube comment system being able to link things. I like being able to link things. I think that's a good thing, personally. But... I didn't have you know. a problem with the linking idea, but it was more the fact that it was opened up to link to anything. I figured because YouTube's such a, like an insular community that they would just let you link to other YouTube stuff. That yeah. would have been fine for me, but they let you link yeah, to anything. Yeah, that would be cool too. Yeah. Or even just yeah, have that no. be an option you can pick in your settings. Like, oh, I restrict my links to just YouTube. Yeah. Why would it was that actually, be a problem? It was really frustrating to me. Like something, personally, what I would really like is if it was a mix between the two systems where like, I would be able to link whatever I want in the comments of my own videos because there would right. have been se there were several times over the course of my YouTubing career in which like I was responding to a comment uh, like a guy saying like hey where did you find this thing and I wanted to be just like yeah here's the link and I would always go for the link and then it's just like nope too bad you can't do that even though this is your own fucking channel it's like why not why can't I and it's like okay you have to Google yeah. this shit and you'll find it or put weird breaks or dots in the middle of shit it's like really. So yeah, it was frustrating. Um, you should be able to make a mod or like a, a person that's come to your videos for a year or something. Like they should just be a regular and they should have more privileges than people who just show up. That like would be a nice. Trusted I, person. I I would love. I seriously would love a, a subscription kind of system like like Twitch has, where you get like privileges. That said, I would also like Twitch to give more privileges to subs in whatever way that would yeah, be. Yeah, I agree too. Because because the ones that they have are they just kind of feel like exclusionary more than anything else you know what not i mean not all of them some are more or less yeah but like well like the the option of i like the option of getting uh emotes and getting the chat badge like that's cool 
because that's, you know, um, it would be cool if you could show off your favorite chat badge into other chats. Yeah, and I don't stuff. know why they haven't done that, actually. That seems yeah. kind of obvious. That would, that would be really nice, but... Um, it would be your social yeah. badge or whatever, your cosmetic badge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. Um, but then... Like uh, but I like the emotes, I like the badges, those are cool. But then the other sub features are like, hey, only subs can talk, or like, only subs can view these VODs. And it's like, eh, it's kind of exclusionary, I don't really like that. I don't really like... Most people don't use those, though. No, that's true. But I mean, but what I mean is like, the options that we have to provide value to subs... You know, Most of the time, let them around stuff. chat filters too, which is kind of nice. Yeah, that is nice. There's yeah. a designation that there's someone you can trust because they paid money to you. So, yeah, that is nice actually. Yeah, you're right. That that one is cool. But I would I don't I you know it's one of those things where it's like I'd like more things for subs. I don't know what those would be, but I'd like them. I'm sure we could brainstorm them. And I don't think it would be that weird. You know, uh, yeah. Google finally implemented the thing to let you donate to YouTubers, but it oh, really? only supports Google Wallet. <laughs> so like, so ninety nine point nine percent of the people we deal with are only on PayPal. Right. I See? mean, maybe that's really a gross exaggeration. I don't actually know what the st uh, the stats are for that, but I'm, I've I'm, never I'm, been interested in any other payment I'd, form. So it's just the donation method. That's all it is. It's a donation method that works exactly the same as PayPal, where they take a piece of it. Oh, that's fucking stupid. That's so terrible. That's what took them fucking months to figure yeah, out. Well, it, the basic thing that is the big deal is that it puts a little, uh, like, a ghosted thumbnail thing that shows up, just like an annotation, uh, in uh -huh. a certain part of your video, and you click Why? on it. It's, it's like a lightning bolt or something. It takes Why you is to it going to be on the video? There's so much space on YouTube that doesn't get used. No, it's got to no, be on the video. No, no, Austin. We need all of that white space well, to the right. <laughs> it's because of all the different platforms that they show their shit on, right? Like, yeah, I don't but, know if it's oh even no, mobile though. won't get it, so I won't be able to donate on my. Uh, that's yeah. that's the only platform. That's well, the so thing is, I don't know if like... it'll be compatible with anything else anyway. Like right. you have to click on a thing on the video, which you can't really do anywhere but on PC. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like, I don't like that. So I, I would much prefer if there was like if they just did like a like a like a Twitch subscription based thing where like you get some sort of commenter specific um you know uh benefits of some kind like a like a badge maybe like like hey i support this channel you know like some some kind of badge that shows that i supported the channel or something not just like hey here's another way to do because like i could just put a donation oh i know i was just gonna say that you could just link your paypal under the video too but there's a reason yeah. why that wasn't enough and why they needed to make another feature because no one really follows those links I mean, yeah, I'm, right, I can't even get people to leave likes on videos anymore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not that I yeah. even care one way or the other, but, like, to keep thriving as a channel, you have to get people interacting, or you start right. going lower and lower in SEO, and then your channel just shrinks into nothing, which is kind of where I'm at right now. It's really depressing. Yeah. It's like likes, There's there never really was a huge incentive to like a video. And that incentive has only gone away over time. So sure. even less people are liking now just because there's no reason to. They made the button tiny as fucking hell. And it's just like, why? why? What, what does liking say? Like if the video already has full likes and no dislikes, okay, yeah. then I, 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 there's no one feels incentive to, to like. It does, yeah, it doesn't really do anything for them right. at all. Not like, to mention, they don't it, even send my videos to my subscribers 90% of the time. Yeah, so. yeah, but it doesn't, it didn't, it, it also, it shows up in like a, uh, like a library of like videos that you've liked, right, and stuff. Right, and they basically video. just made it another favorites folder, but it's called liked right. videos now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm amazed yeah. at how oh, little YouTube is now. Like, we used to have so many options and things, yeah. and now there's just the bar that has, like, 50 useless links, and then yeah. you get to the channel list. And that's the like, Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. They really YouTube. discouraged browsing on YouTube. It's very difficult to find things. <laughs> there's no re I love how they made the most popular videos, which was already kind of shitty, but still was a good way to see what people were watching that week. They, it's hidden. It's, it's you have to go to yeah. what to watch, scroll down like three million times, and then it might be yeah. it might be there. Man, I remember back in the day. You, you remember when when YouTube had a front page? Yeah, you remember that when like when I found so many channels like that actually where right no yeah, like totally. it, where where it worked like Twitch like how it's just like hey here's some cool and they and they, it it would work just it would work similarly to Twitch where it was just like it was actually like reviewed by 
YouTube editors, whoever they paid to do that, is like, hey, look, this video doesn't actually have that many views, but it's actually pretty good. See if you want to watch it. And I would, if I would find people like that. Um, and yeah. it was cool. And now I, the front page is just like 50 videos you've already seen or don't want to see. Yeah, yeah, watch it again, right? We needed that column in our viewing history. <laughs> watch it again. And, and it's really, all my own videos. I, you know what's <laughs> another thing that I don't understand is like, why don't they have some sort of a... Well, okay, I actually know why. It's because they hate gaming. But if they didn't hate gaming, a very simple thing that they could add would be be able to make like like sort of sort of like seasons. I know that they have that sort of an, as an option of like seasons, but like like actually make seasons where like this is episode one, this is episode two, this is episode three. It automatically puts it into a playlist or whatever, and you just click on a thing and it's just, you know like I don't know. I think it's everything just, you just said is actually implemented already. It sort of is, but there's not a, really. an option like, to make a show, and within the yes. show you can set seasons, and you can make playlists that automatically add stuff based on title. So there, there that's is all the things. there is that, but it's convoluted, and you can't really search by that. Is the is the is sort Why? of the problem because it that it doesn't show up. I guess well, but like nothing uh, cause, shows cause up. Here's, if what, you here's what I mean. <laughs> here's, here's what I mean. Here's what I mean, though, because okay. like th this is th this is the problem. Even though they have that feature. Oftentimes, I'll watch a video, and then on the side, it'll have, like, what to watch. Like, hey, you like this video. You'd probably like this video that's also popular. And it's like, yeah, you just watched, uh, you know, episode five of uh, of this Let's Play of this thing. Y you know, if you if you liked episode five, you're going to really love episode 173. Oh, yeah, I agree. <laughs> it's like, and it's like, what? It's way more episodes later, How? so it's got to be better. Yeah, it's just like, and and it's it, it's purely because it has more views or interaction, and it's just like you you could right. if like if it were because the videos were in a playlist, you could have easily seen like okay, there's no reason that somebody's gonna watch it out of order like that, like just because it has more views. I like when but, it goes a step know. farther, and it's like you, oh man, you just watched episode three of this. Here's episode seven of someone else's. Of right, our, yeah. Of Ghost <laughs> Robo's version of that game you were playing. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's like exist? YouTube yeah. could even simply implement the damn search by game feature that Twitch has, and that could give you videos. They don't like too. games. They don't that like games. Yeah, the really thing is, though, you can actually do all those things still. Like, you just have to get people to go to your actual playlist for that Let's Play. And right. it's kind of buried most of the time. Like, you can only show so many playlists on your page. Yep. And people like us, well, we play a lot of games, and that fills up really fast. And God forbid you have multiple subsections and things. Uh, yeah. You can't categorize it all very neatly or easily, and there's no real way to really feature stuff. Even though you can put it near the top, it still ends up becoming kind of messy very quickly. And you can't Not really give things more weight than other things. It's all just the same size boxes. Not See, to mention that the playlist system is fucking trash-ass and so convoluted to, like, put things into the goddamn playlists. Like, I don't idiots. agree with you on that. It's actually fine. What do you mean? I, I, well, because you can't, I don't know why they took away the feature where you can put uh, videos in a playlist while you're uploading. They took that away, like, what, like a year ago now? Right, but you can have auto-adding playlists, so it doesn't even matter if you do it. When you, Whenever you have it scheduled to post, it'll put it in your playlist when it posts. When do you, how do you do that? I'll explain it to you after this thing. It's a thing, and it's real, and I have it set up right now, so I don't put things in playlists anymore. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's it's awesome. not even hard to do. I'll show it to but you. The, but no the, <laughs> well, okay, so, so, but beyond that, like, if you, if you try to retroactively put things into playlists that you hadn't had, you haven't had in a playlist uh, before, that shit is for sure the worst. Like they did add filters really lately, popular. though. Have you checked it in the last six months? Because they added a thing that lets you sort them by time posted, which is no, really helpful. And you can set that it both forward nice. or backward. Really? Well, oh, okay, yeah. No, the forward and backward thing. See, that's the thing. You have to, like, click a checkbox in order to put them in the right order. If, if Like, when you check off, I don't know. It's just very confusing, and it's just, like, not worth the... Yeah, it's well, just, you can it's manually just sort them after you filter them, though, so it actually is fine. It basically fixed all the problems I thought I had with it. Did it really? Okay, well, maybe I need to look back into it. Yeah, it's not It was trash-ass when I did it, and I hated it, and I never looked back. I just don't like it at all. Can, can we talk about how awful the search feature is on YouTube real quick? Yeah, I, it's really bad. I, I have an example here, like a game that we all know and love, The Binding of Isaac. If you just pop that into the search bar. Well, PewDiePie played that once. Yeah, surprisingly, his video is not uh, on the front page. But what you get... It's not? And, no, it's uh, not on the first search That's page. That's awesome. 
Yeah, but okay, so when I t type the Binding of Isaac, the first two things that come up are advertisements. Instead of putting them on the right where the white space is, they instead take up search results to put ads there. So that's nice. So uh, you click and, them by accident. Right, because yeah. it loads afterwards intentionally, which is great. But uh, we have the first result is Ryan's channel. All right, legitimate. Good for he him. plays a lot of Isaac. That's good. Yeah. Uh, and then the second two results are not episode 933 and 932 of Ryan's, then episode one of Ryan's, then episode 579 of Biznaps, then episode 116 of Holy LP, then 578 of Biznaps. That video's in Spanish. That one's in Russian. I don't know that one. 931 of Ryan, 437s of Ryan's, uh, Rebirth release date trailer, which, uh, okay, that's, oh, that's the trailer for Rebirth. All right, good. Uh, don't know what that is. The Binding of Isaac, episode 53 of this person. See, nothing, these are, it should be episode one of each popular Binding of Isaac series right, yeah. listed out before. Well, they're you. sorted by relevance, though. Like, it doesn't understand that one episode is more important than another because it's the first in the series. It see, looks at what's what linked I mean. to what. That's why, and it, that, that's why I would like that, that episodic, like, seasonal playlist that type thing might to be, be there. Possible, so that but had... none of us set up our stuff like shows, though. Yeah, I know, but I mean, like, but it's even still, if you do, it's it's this you, the the search page is still broken. You're not no one's. Gonna... It, what I'm saying is, I want a feature to make let's plays like an option. Like, it's, it's like I that's all, that's all I want essentially. Like like a let's play option. Like a there, serialized there, content. There are so many exactly. Like there are so many channels that do let's plays now. Like millions upon millions of views are dedicated to let's plays. You'd think that they would just add an option that's just like, yeah, here's a let's play series of. Whatever game this they is, might and when you search, not be allowed to. Maybe like, that maybe they can't acknowledge true. that they exist. Maybe, yeah, yeah. that's a that's a possibility. But I mean, you, know, you you would think that like if that were really still a problem, which I know I know it is, but I mean, if that were really still such a problem that it was so they were so uh, like fearful of litigation that they won't even acknowledge that let's plays exist. How the fuck did Twitch buy Am like Amazon by Twitch? You know. If, like there's a huge like a huge multi-billion dollar company buys yeah, I know, uh I know. yeah and it's it's like it if 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 like gaming content being viewed was still such a huge problem i feel like you know i don't know but it's uh, all but to actually, do with the vods of, though right which is why they sorted yeah, that shit right yeah, yeah youtube is vod like yeah. it, that's what it is the uh, actually uh, one speaking of Twitch, there's that one new feature that I saw today that's actually really cool. Like when you go, I, I don't it, know if you guys saw this. What I tweeted, oh, what, wouldn't it be sweet it? if Twitch allowed you to follow of uh, like your five favorite games, and then you'd always have a list. And now there's a feature yeah. for that. It, it was it, it's cool. Like I like it, but here's the thing: is I don't know why, but you couldn't search games in that thing or maybe maybe right. i was doing it wrong but know. it was just like hey here's here's like 30 games that you've probably watched before and like some of them i like there was like trey ball or something like i know what, I know, what? what the fuck is that game and uh and like dota wasn't on there like dota the main thing that i watch on twitch wasn't on there and it's like all right i guess i'll put ocarina of time on there like i don't really watch it but i'll put it on there what do you so, mean Dota wasn't like you couldn't make that an option for yourself? No, yeah, I couldn't. It was yeah, I, I just had to scroll down to the one very of the most yeah, watched there. things on their down. channel. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I, I think maybe that was why. Is I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking that the reason Big. that it wasn't on there is because maybe they're implementing that feature to suggest people watch some of the not most played games on Twitch because the 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 ratio is really actually legitimately terrible on twitch as to yeah the the most played games are like 90 percent of the viewership like the like the four or five most watched games are like 90 percent of the viewership and the rest of the 10 percent is everything else hey man it's free market so, capitalism wins, yeah right? that's that's true well but but the system doesn't does favor that though because like usually all the stuff on the front page are the most played games and then also the front page or the the mo like the first the only thing that you can see on the front page of Twitch is usually the top row of games, and those are the most watched, obviously. Um, so you know you click on them easily. So, but but yeah, you're right. It, it is really just you know the free market I mean, like saying for fuck's sake, I've been able to get the top uh, channel for fucking Ducktales on the NES when we were doing it on the NLSS. Like that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Like it, it's not that bad. No, Unless no, we did it's it during not, but... a tournament. But here's the th yeah. But here's the thing too is like the one thing the one like major gripe I have about Twitch is like the search function 
doesn't do shit all. Yeah, why can't so, you like, search for channels? I don't know. You can't. You can't search for channels. You can't search for games either. My mom like, one it, time was like, "I'm trying to look up Northern Lion on Twitch, and he doesn't have a channel." I'm like, "What?" And yeah. she just kept putting it into the search box, and I'm like, "Okay, th what you're doing is completely reasonable. What's happening afterward is not." <laughs> yeah, right. It's I, I, like I honestly don't even know why they have that search bar there. Oh, actually, you know what? They've actually they've actually updated this search. Does it work now? Yeah. Can you find Northern I, I Lion typed, on it? Yeah, I, I typed in Northern, and it gave me to. Um, I mean, the search. Okay, it doesn't exactly work, but because like the the first thing comes up is a live channel right now. Call and the title is Try Hatter Stream Number One Arc Engineering oh, no. A on Tig Trasa. Um, but then right below wow. it is like Users Northern Line. Oh, uh, yeah, because it, 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 that dude that you just set it up, it, there's a full title that you have to actually mouse over An Epic Quest for the Glory of the Northern Seaman. Oh, ah, the yeah. Northern Seaman. Right. Hmm. So that doesn't take you to his channel then. No, but but the but it, it does. Like, there's right below it is like uh, user northern yeah. line. Okay. That, yeah. That, 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 yeah. That's cool. So that should be sorted by like channel size and probably put at the top then. Yeah. Let me see if I could search the binding. <laughs> Ryan needs a new channel background for this. Uh... No, see, I gave him one and he wouldn't put it up. I gave. <laughs> I made him one and he won't put it up. I, I can count the fucking pixels of his appetite. I sent stretched. it to him multiple times and he just doesn't have it. <laughs> it's funny. See, here's yeah. See, here's my problem. Like the, I can search <laughs> the binding to look up the binding of Isaac, right? And it has live channels, and those ones are probably playing. Isaac, actually they are, uh, and then the user, and it's a user called Binding27, and then videos of people playing The Binding of Isaac, but there's no, like, game, The Binding of Isaac, where I can just click to see That's all That's really the... easy to fix. It's just, you put a, a drop-down menu next to the search, and you say, do you want all, do you want channels, do you want videos, do you want well, game? If you go for, if you click on the games tab on Browse, on the top right, there's a search for a game only. The Browse. Well, what it used to do was, I thought, game only. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I, yeah, if you go to that's why I couldn't find that channel. Or my mom couldn't find that channel oh, okay. because she wanted to find a person, not a game. Yeah, I, the the new one. Yeah, that that that. Yeah, I didn't know about that. But and uh, see, there's still a problem with this search function too. Is that it's the same search function as like there's no heuristics to this search because it it's the same. It's the same search function that you have when you set up a, a game on your Twitch dashboard. Sure. You know, where uh, where like. You know, you have to type in specifically how it's spelled in the database, in the Giant Bomb yeah, database. Just pulling like, it from that, that's it. Yeah, I, I can't search Binding of Isaac. I have to search the Binding of Isaac. So let's see what happens when I search Binding. I can't even search it. That's the kind of it, thing it's, that it's I would like hope a massive monetary injection would be, like, streamlinable. Like, they could fix that with some expertise in a little time. Yeah, I, I hope so, too. And, you know, maybe they will. The, honestly, the, the the search the search functionality of Twitch is uh, is really I think the the um, the worst part of it right now, and hopefully that does get get fixed I in can't the future. Fault for that either, like that's one of those things you can't no, possibly not... care to prioritize very high when you right. have all this other huge shit happening all the time. Exactly. Yeah. No, I, I completely agree. It's not something to prioritize, but it would be nice. But now they have and... a ton of money and manpower. One would hope that yeah. could happen now. Yeah, possibly. Well, money. I don't know how the manpower thing worked out. Yeah, I don't know if they... They, they might not actually have any more manpower. It might be exactly the same. Yeah, Who I knows? would think that they would be. Because why would... Yeah. Yeah. I've heard yeah, Amazon wants to just leave them alone to kind of just do their own thing. So I guess they just, like, send them money all the time and that's it. Yeah, that's reasonable. I like that. That's what we wanted. Me too. If anybody yeah. had to buy them, I'd, I'd rather maybe... Oh, fuck, dude. There's so it's many, fine. like, Amazon integrations that could be really cool, though, with Twitch that I kind of hope that they... I hope they I hope they use let's, some of them. Let's not get carried away here. <laughs> I, well, there are some there's some potentially cool sh shit. Like, like, for instance, you know how, like, there's the VOD problem where, like, VODs are being muted because of the copyrighted yeah, music or whatever? Yeah, you're going to link it to their Amazon store for the, exactly. like, the album. Exactly. How cool would that it. be? Like, that would be cool. Like, like because Twitch, Twitch already does stuff like that. Like, if you go to the Counter-Strike Global Offensive... Um, page um you can actually like sort channels by the map that they're playing on right because but that's it's the linked. only game on twitch that lets you right do that. yeah well I, well that and that's that's not necessarily twitch's fault that's more valve's fault because of how their company structure is of right. like how much they want to prioritize stuff 
but I mean that's that that's due to Valve's infrastructure because Valve because like you can link your Steam account through Twitch and then uh, through Counter Strike it sends that information back to Twitch and saying hey this guy's playing on this map or whatever. Um, well, which they is need cool. to work on their detection and stuff before they start linking it up to other pages. Because if you start getting false positives and then linking it to Amazon channels, it's like or Amazon store pages it seems weird to me. Yeah, I mean, but it could be cool, like as a, as an alternative to like, hey, these are these are the tracks that you can play this month or something, or like these are this is the library of music that you can play, and then all it does is it has a little ticker on the bottom of the screen that says like, hey, look, this is this is what he's playing right now. Click here if you want to buy it. Seems pretty. That seems like a pretty cool integration to me. Like, and, and oh, it's that, an that's, optional thing for streamers. Yeah, like right. a resource library. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right, precisely. that wouldn't be so bad. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly. It gives it gives you an option for for streamers to to like you know still play the copyrighted music that they like, and also you know it's beneficial to both sides, really. I um, thought you were implying the way Google did it, where it just links to a page, a store page, without really asking or anything. It's just like, oh, oh you played no. this. I see you played that because of content ID, and here's where you buy that thing we think you played. No, yeah, that's that's that would, that's that's shitty. But uh... there was uh, <laughs> speaking of content ID, no, there was a video that uh, Rooster Teeth, the uh, Chima Hunter guys, did a couple days ago. They played uh, Mario Kart. Um, Market 8, and uh, they used to not do Nintendo videos because they didn't like the, that Nintendo matched videos. And yeah. I guess they, they finally started doing Nintendo videos about a couple weeks ago again, so I assume they probably got finally got a deal with Nintendo since they're the biggest, you know, Let's Playing video making right. with video games company uh, in the country. So I'm, I, they must have gotten a deal. What happened was they recorded Mario Kart 8. Mario Kart. God, I'm fucking losing Mario it. Mario Kart 8. Mario Kart 8. Uh, Mario Kart 8. And uh, about halfway through the video, they started singing the Donkey Kong rap. Like, they didn't play it. They just started singing it. Mm. And uh, they released that video. And then the next day, they took the video down and re-uploaded it. And that part was cut out. <laughs> wow. They <laughs> literally sang the song from a video game that was released in the late 90s. Uh, about with Donkey Kong is a rap it's, and that Nintendo didn't like that they didn't like that no one is allowed to sing the Donkey Kong rap <laughs> but Nintendo it's on well, like Donkey Kong how about that you know what considering that story let's just not even mention that word anymore let's just let's just not let's stay away from it and that starts to get into that whole like Apple patenting rounded rectangles bullshit world yeah yeah it's just funny because they didn't even they well, didn't play like, it and it got content ID match. They just sang it. That's yeah, one of those things did. where like where like YouTube's official policy now is that parodies are against the rules, right? So, they, yeah, yeah, that happened a couple months ago where they where they said you can't actually do parodies anymore. Like those are those are free to be copyright matched. Um, and but but it's one of those things where it's like parody is protected. Like that's fair use. That's right, like, and then they're gonna say, "Well, we're a privately owned company, so." Yeah, well, I mean that's true, but I mean, and they can do that. It's but, our but, house; you're not allowed here. Yeah, I mean that that is true, but it, but it, but it, but at the same time, it's like, why are they even? If they have to deal with litigation dealing with that, then it's it's fair use. Like it, it is it is fair. Like Larry Flint took a goddamn bullet for fair use so that he could, right. you know, fuck with that one guy, uh, Jerry Falwell or whatever. <laughs> like the, it is parody is fair use by definition. So I don't know. Well, the people that with one's... the money get to decide what the laws actually are, though. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's exactly like true. dentists, right? <laughs> like what? Like dentists, I said. Oh, fucking dentists. A dentist totally helped me out, Rob. Did he? Yeah, I got the top of my tooth filled back in, and now I have a proper working tooth again because of a dentist. Yeah. Didn't even cost me as much money as I was worried about. Well, you know what? I'm looking at this uh, rabbit in the sink. He's got he's got great teeth, and I tell you what, he never been to a dentist. I can tell you that with, like, 98% certainty. I think that's How old good... is a rabbit? <laughs> it's a good question. I don't know. Do they eat he a looks... lot of sweets? Probably. Uh, Carrots have a lot of sugars in them. They eat a lot of processed sugars? Yeah. They drink a lot of Maybe. Coke? He could be. I mean, look at how he's lounging in that uh, in that sink, you know. His, his, his owners clearly spoil him. They could give him, uh, you know, little I'm just saying, I needed some dental Easter work eggs. and a dentist helped me out, and now my tooth is better. There's no downside <laughs> to the story, really. Yeah. Oh, my God. Right? What? 
Uh, well, uh, nothing. Sorry. Go. Can you continue? Uh, well, actually, I think we're at an hour now, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a good place yeah. to uh, to end here. G to the G. G to the motherfucking G. Diary. Yep. Yo. That was right. watching. Yeah, Thanks bye, for watching, everybody. everybody. New episodes Mondays and Fridays. Make sure you like the video if you can. It helps us out a bunch. I know we don't really ask for it too much, but please do if you can. Thanks. Talk to you oh, later. Yeah. <laughs>